So some of you brought phones, cameras, something, pull them out. Now hold your phone up, your camera up, and make believe you're taking a video of me. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. OK, stand up. How is their camera holding different from your camera's holding? They're actually doing it as the TV screen is. So this is how you shoot video. Face a neighbor, turn on the video part. I want you to be horizontal. Take, let's say, six seconds of video of your neighbor. Now look at your six seconds and tell me how steady it is. Not very steady. Not very steady. Yours is pretty steady. Okay, you said yours was steady. How are you holding your camera? Come out here and show how you were holding your camera. If you're holding with one hand, you're losing 50% of your steadiness. Look at how steady. That's pretty steady. It's very steady. There are other ways to help you hold steady. Everybody pick up your camera again. Now take your elbows and put them into your chest, into your gut. Is that how you did it? You got three books. <laughs> She's lying. She doesn't actually do it. <laughs> You're doing vertical. You're missing two thirds of the frame. <laughs> so hold in here. Okay, that's going to make you steady like a tripod. Try this. This arm goes against your gut all the way across your stomach. And you hold your elbow like that. I want everybody to get up and come to the back. Come on, with your cameras. So, if you're walking, my camera is going to show exactly the same as how you're walking. So what you need to do when you're walking and shooting, which we also call trucking or dollying, you have to bend your knees. Everybody, you don't really need your cameras, but I would get your camera and just hold it. Two hands, horizontal. So bend your knees. A nice athletic stance. We're going to walk a little bit springy, like this. See? As opposed to like this. OK, so if you want to record video, you can. So the first row, OK? You've got a nice steady stance. Maybe your camera's in. Your elbows are in. You're a little bit springy. And now, if you're going to roll, roll now. And then come to me. <laughs> no? This is not so easy, right? OK. You're not springy. You're not springy. You're a little springy there. You're going like this. That's not springy. OK, keep going there. OK, next row. Springy is absorbing, like you're floating, OK? Hold your camera steady, ready, and come get me. Maybe not too much. How, is, is that too much? Too much. I'm going to get you. When you go cutting from one shot to the next shot, you want to keep in mind what the shot before was. So if you had a wide shot, you don't want to follow it with another wide shot, and another wide shot, and another wide shot, because that's boring, and no one's going to want to watch your video. What you want to do is make a wide shot, a medium shot, a close up, a close up, a close up, a medium shot, a close up, a wide shot. As close as you can get, the better. So you want to vary your shots. The same thing with movement, with panning. How many different kinds? I mean, you're just following a person, right? Well, there are lots of different ways to follow a person. So put Jennifer in the center of your frame. 
and Jennifer's going to walk just to here and follow her. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, stop. So you just follow her, right? So hopefully the next shot, put Jennifer outside the frame so you don't see her, okay? But just outside the frame, okay? So that when she walks after three steps, she's going to be in your frame. And do not move your cameras. You're going to do a static shot. Go ahead, walk. So Jennifer is now walking through your frame. Keep going. And maybe she'll walk out of the frame. Okay, so that's another way to do it. So here's another thing. Now focus, put Jennifer on the right edge of your frame. So she's in frame, but there's a lot of frame open on this side. Okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to follow her, and when I say stop, you're going to hold your camera steady, and we'll see what happens. Okay, Jennifer, walk and keep walking this time. And stop. You keep walking. She just walked out of your frame, right? So we've just done three different ways. Thank you, Jennifer. So that's three different ways of, of doing a pan. And you want to think of that. Also, you don't necessarily always want to have people in the center of your frame. You want to have people in the sides. You want to actually be looking at the whole frame. The whole frame makes up your movie. And if everything's always in the center, boring. Any other questions? I thank you.